one of the easiest ways to get to become that person you need to be to be, achieve your vision is by being around those people that are already that. Like yep. you can't help in my experience, and you kind of alluded to this, I don't think you can help but start to absorb whatever it is, energy. And I don't mean that in a woo-woo way. I just mean like in a habits way, maybe in a mindset way, you can't help but absorb these things from the people around you, right? If, I mean, if you're, if every, if all your friends are, if you're trying to lose, you know, lose weight, for instance, as an example, and all your friends are, are going to the bars and, 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 eat, and, and drinking beer and eating pizza and, and all this, like, I'm not sure. I think that's going to rub off on you. And I'm not going to sure, I'm not sure you're going to hit your goal. So like, I think to your point, to become somebody, the easiest way is to, to be part of a group that's already like that. Well, I will tell you this, you know, when we do the events, whether it's a gear life getaway or business builder, you know, me and you go work out, right? Yeah. And one of my hardest workouts is when I'm working out with you, because one of the things is I have my expectations of myself that I can do better. And you have different expectations of me in that particular time. You know, if you think about it, the last event that we went to the business, the get a life getaway that we had in Raleigh, we more work out on day two and we did we legs, did legs <laughs> right? We could barely walk. Right. And I will tell you this, that normally I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't, right. but there is something that happens when we start looking at the expectations of our peers. Yes. Right. Yes. So when you start looking from that perspective, you start noticing how we tend to operate in life. And by the way, we said this earlier on the podcast. Why is that? Why is that happen? Well, because of the fact that we want to be accepted, the survival, be loved enough and all that kind of stuff. So when you are working out with somebody who's pushing, you know, I think you were pushing what, uh, 150 pounds. As and I, when I started pushing three, 370, is that what right, it was? Right, right, right. <laughs> no, but when you start seeing your counterpart who is there, and by the way, here's the important thing to notice. Those people, I think they need to be encouraging. They need to encourage you not to put you down because that's a big part of it. So you start looking at from the perspective, they're pointing out what's wrong, what place are they coming from when they're pointing this stuff out? Yeah. Is it like, I start working out with my youngest right now and he comes to me and we go to the gym and he's asking me, Tata, am I doing this right? Am I doing this workout right? Like we're just doing triceps on Saturday, right? And he's like, I just said, well, turn your hands a little bit this way. So I'm not speaking from him like you're doing it wrong. I want to encourage him to do it right. And he's listening to me and he's kind of changing his routine and things like that. And all of a sudden he starts getting better and better and better. So I think that is why putting yourself up with people who are above you, who you can look up to, who will encourage you, who see the best in you is really important. Yeah. You know? And Dude, it's huge. Well, and also like, as you're talking, I'm thinking of a few things that are, that are really just leaping out at me here. Cause this is such an important topic is, you know, someone you need, to, you need to be, and I want to talk about some of the characteristics of somebody you should be looking for um, to be more specific. If you're a listener right now and you're like, well, gosh, I mean, I, this makes sense. It's, it makes sense, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. You're looking for people that are going to help you be better. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll make either, either directly, ideally directly help you. Like they will, they, they enjoy helping people. And by the way, I'll tell you, people that are really successful, don't worry about competition. That's not a scarcity yes. mentality. They're not worried. You're going to become better than them. Like they want to see you grow and improve. Abundance. You know? Yeah. It's abundance. They are people who are doing what you want to do, who don't, don't, uh, who want to see you succeed. Like that's another huge thing. Um, and who are open to sharing that. And to your point of encouragement, Peter, I think ideally this person knows how to encourage you. And, and, and for instance, like, and, and sometimes like, for instance, I'll, I'll, I'll use weightlifting as an example. When I'm in the gym working out, um, the, I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy who's like, um, I'm not motivated by someone being like, Oh yeah, come on. You can do it. Like, go, go Jason. Like I'm more of like someone yelling at me, for instance, like I respond to that. And so somebody else may not though. And so the person that you're that, that, but, it, but it's all within my, within the realm of still wanting to help mm -hmm. me.